Hi guys, so today we're going to visit a cemetery and it's actually located right behind those buildings to your left. Balakas Angel was actually filmed here. It was a BBC television drama. Um, it was filmed here and in Enniskerry, but some of the filming was actually done in this pub here to our left Fitzgerald's and would you believe it was the acting debut of a very young Colin Farrell. He was just 22 years old. The Avoca mines were mined for copper and associated products, dating back probably to Roman times. Ptolemy's map of Ireland in AD 150 marks Avoca, suggesting that the Romans knew of the Wicklow ore. According to Mulville Hill, the Anglo-Normans and Elizabethans had mines here. Over the years, entrepreneurs mined in West Avoca for copper, lead, sulphur and other minerals. A number were local, Others came from England, Wales and Canada. Mining played an important role in the history of Avoca. Today the remains of seven engine houses, a mineral tramway arch with a colourful mine landscape containing precipitation ponds and spoil heads from the different eras still exist here. In the mid-1900s, Canadian interest extracted large quantities of copper and pirate ore from the mines as mining methods had improved. By one account, a Canadian mining company mined 3 million tonnes of copper and pirate ore from the Avoca mines. I'll just give you another look at where we actually are. You can see cars going by and we're right on this hill. And it's quite dangerous, it is quite steep and slippy as well. Hi guys, so today we're in Avoca and this little cemetery is actually overlooking Avoca itself and it's up on an extremely steep hill but uh, I think we'll start reading and work our way up. 1857 here anyway, erected by Brian in memory of his daughter, died June 1857, aged just 14. His son is there as well, but it's quite hard to read. Erected by Thomas Holt. Holton, maybe? Um, or Holt in memory of his son, Thomas. April the 24th, 1827. Aged one year, also his son Joseph, March the 24th, 1829, aged, that looks like one as well. But we're not going to be able to read a whole lot of them because it is quite hard to get around. Some are broken here. This one has lovely designs on it. Here lieth the body of Lewis Byrne, who departed this life 1826, aged 38. But they go all the way up around. Erected by Thomas Hall in memory of his beloved father, James. He was 54 when he passed in 1852. Now the strange thing is we have this fence going around the side of it. But we have one headstone that we won't be able to read. But that just sits there. All that along here is Avoca, 
and you can see Avoca Church just there but uh, that's somebody's home right there now we're going to try and make our way up the bank look at this iron cross erected by Daniel Mooney in memory of his father John Mooney who died February the 2nd 1895 aged 79 years also his mother Elizabeth who died June the 22nd 1890 aged 76 also his much lamented brother Francis who was killed August the 21st 1869 aged 27 and also his brother John who died abroad um, on all their souls may loving Jesus have mercy wow so his brother Francis was killed and his brother John died abroad we have another one just right over here it's kind of right in the side of it here but it's too hard to read it's completely leaning forward now we've huge headstones up along here but we do have to be very careful erected by Margaret um, in memory of her beloved husband Thomas 1845 age 72 it looks like and also the above named Margaret 1854 age 77 that is leaning forward another headstone beside it and look at this one this is beautiful we have gorgeous angels on either side of a cross I can see the age 25 18 maybe 73 there the name is quite hard to read but you can see the lich in here is almost like a, a salmon kind of a colour but you can see it goes right up there into the woods the, this is the end of the graveyard but there must be a walkway right up along This one has the lamb on it. And look at the colour of this one. Michael. Um, very hard to read again. I can see 23 years of age. Michael Mayer. But there's Daniel there as well. So it could be erected by Michael. In loving memory of his beloved son, Daniel. Age 23, it looks like. 1808 there. Look at the colour of that. So I'm not going to walk down the slope because it's just too dangerous. But just give you another look at where we actually are. You can see cars going by and we're right on this hill and it's quite dangerous. It is quite steep and slippy as well. Now we'll go up here. Now I can see a, a burial mound just here. We have a marker with no name. We have a beautiful monument just there. We have loads of actual, look at the mounds. There's a load of them there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's quite a few of them actually now that I look around. And even all here. So it's actually really, really hard to tell how many people are actually buried in here. This one, look at this. Just goes to show you how old it is. The headstone and the tree has completely swallowed it up. I'm going to see if I can get around to it. But it is quite hard because as I said, it is dangerous. Is it readable? Look at that beautiful tree. Absolutely gorgeous. 
and see if I can get I can't really actually get around you'll have to just bear with me guys I'm trying to like you'd wonder where the body is when you see the roots like that and the headstone I can see 98 but in it's Walsh Bridget Walsh mm-hmm. in memory of I don't know 14th it looks like there, 1842 age, it looks like 98. But Bridget Walsh, anyhow, but look at that. It's completely swallowed up. But we'll try and get back up along. Ooh. Erected by Michael Kilbride in memory of his father, Thomas Kilbride, who departed his life. November 22nd, 1839, age 64, and also his mother Elizabeth. And she died 1840, age 60. And this one is actually leaning forward, but it's pure rock just there at the base of the headstone. And I'm going to get down to see if you can see those mounds. You might be able to see them there, but there's just a line of them. And really significant ones there, where the headstones are. So with all the rain, it is quite um, slippy. Now this beautiful monument, and those lovely wrought iron rails. I can see, erected to the memory of John Connors, or Connor, I think it is, who died the 27th of June, 1842, and his wife, Dorothy. And she passed away in 1854, erected as a small tribute of an affection by their son, Moses. Wow. But just to give you a look at where we are, and you can see that there is a huge slope. Irish Eyes is here as well. Um, he's trying to help me get around and there's the, those mounds. You can quite see them visibly enough there, I think. So very significant mounds there. And we'll see if we can read anything here. Erected by Um, looks like James Edward in memory of Edward his son Edward I believe that says who departed this life 1845 age just 16 years and there's an age 73 departed this life there as well we actually left the torch in the car 1845 yeah and it's for his son Edward we left the torch in the car and after walking this way we had to park the car up a bit and walk all the way before I actually realised. But just look at that monument once again. And you can see beautiful forest all around us. And then as I said, the village of Avoca underneath this graveyard. This is a beautiful one, actually. In loving memory of Rosanna O'Loughlin, Temple Lusk of Oka, died the 11th of October, 1931, aged 44. Also her son's Dinny, 1929, aged just 12. And Willie, 1930, aged 18. So Dinny died just a year before Willie. And then their mother, Rosanna, is here as well. That's a beautiful memorial there. But just look again. I mean, it's hard to believe that this is up here on such a slope, looking over um, a Volca village or, or town. Valley Cassandra shot actually on the main street here. But uh, 
such a strange place for this little cemetery and unfortunately I'm kind of too nervous to walk over that way the the grass is quite slippy after all the rain but you can see there those those mounds and they go up along that way but uh beautiful absolutely beautiful Well, I just walk up there maybe and just see if I can have a better view of it. There's a couple of steps up into this little area. Oops. And that's it. As I said, hard to believe that it's up here. Right, so guys that is all from here i wish i could have um worked my way kind of down that slope to read some um more headstones but it's just it is really really slippy i've already now to try and get down even the little bit that i've i've um come up on so um from beautiful evoke and this beautiful beautiful area take care god bless and i'll talk to you all soon